everyone, my name is Ana Maria and welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about how my rheumatoid arthritis affects your daily life and how is it treated. So let's get started. RA affects everyone differently, but living with a long-term condition can have both an emotional and practical impact of your life. Most people with RA have chronic long-lasting symptoms, but for some, symptoms appear more gradually than in others. They experience periods when the symptoms get worse, which are called flare-ups, and periods where symptoms improve. Rarely symptoms and sign of disease disappear these are called remissions which i really hope is going to be my case ra can have an impact on different aspects of your life such as work and family it is often not only the joints that are affected some people also experience feelings of depression and anxiety it is quite difficult if you have a friend or a family member battling this disorder because at first it is hard to understand what is happening not everybody has visible signs this stage is very critical and the patient really needs a lot of help firstly because everything is new and the changes in the body are very scary because i went through it I can sincerely tell you that everything happened very fast. It was a matter of weeks and my body changed every single day. My situation was getting worse and I was frightened. I felt like I was alone in this. RA patients wake up stiff and achy in the morning. Morning time is the hardest. On top of it, the fatigue makes you beg for more sleep because no matter how much sleep you get, you do not wake up feeling refreshed at all. I used to be always anxious about how those around me will respond to my limitations, my needs, my agony. Every day, every single day was different. I did not have the luxury to stay at home. I went to work and I remember there were moments when I needed a nap in the middle of the day especially if I struggled to sleep the night before. At night, I got very tired. And the more intense my flares, the earlier I needed to go to bed. I wanted to keep my nighttime routine, but there were many nights where fatigue won and I went straight to bed. As soon as I was lying on the bed, I felt like my body was too heavy to move. I felt exhausted. RA is so much more than just joint pain. The pain is every day, all throughout the body. And after a while, you kind of get used to it, which is very scary. Because I felt generally unwell and tired. It was very difficult to spend time with my loved ones. I definitely went through some challenging times, but I'm glad my health is getting better. And I'm ready to share with you my journey. Managing your health with a good medical team, taking the medications you have been prescribed regularly, avoiding activities that might hurt your joints, and identifying the best way to look after yourself can help you to continue to live well. This can include exercise to help keep the joints mobile, especially the low impact options such as walking or cycling. Low impact aerobic helps as well. In my case, yoga was extremely helpful and every time I have a chance, I swim. But please, bear in mind, if you have a lot of pain when you exercise, you should stop. Please talk to your doctor or with your therapist before you start doing them again. You might want to improve your diet. You might want to add some vegetables, some fruits, some healthy oils. And maybe you should give up on alcohol. It's not healthy at all. You have to start learning how to take care of yourself. 
soon you will realize that you're building up resilience, determination, perseverance, and your new job is learn how to navigate to difficult moments. You might want to lower the stress levels. Dealing with RA is stressful enough, so reduce the stress caused by anything else. Second point, how is rheumatoid arthritis treated? There are different types of treatment options. And the four main types are the following. Medication. Physical therapies. This might include working with a physical therapist to find ways to avoid putting too much strain on your joints. Or different exercises that might help ease your symptoms. Surgery. Surgical option can vary from quite mild ones to major surgery, such as joint replacement. Alternative medicine. Complementary treatments such as fish oil, plant oil. In some articles, I have found that Tai Chi have shown some promises. Now, let's go to five things you need to know about rheumatoid arthritis. First, rheumatoid arthritis is not the same as arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder, so it's different from arthritis. Second, early aggressive treatment is best to reduce or stop the inflammation as quickly as possible. Third, remission is possible, which I really hope is everybody's case. Fourth, exercise is king, improves your overall health and function. Exercise helped me tremendously. Fifth, you might not look sick and some people expect more of you than you can give now i want you to hear me out no one can care more about your health than you you have to care the most in my case doctors prescribed along the way different types of medication my body did not respond well for the first three attempts i had to take pills i had to take shots or jobs and I had some perfusion as well. My condition suddenly set in and I didn't have many signs before. I felt like it was a matter of weeks to the time I couldn't walk without help. It started very aggressively and it was pretty much unmanageable, especially because I had a hard time until my doctors decided on a diagnosis. Luckily my body is getting better and now is responding to the treatment. Currently, I'm taking two shots or jobs per week, different substances. I know my past doesn't equal my future. And because of that, I'm very optimistic and proud of my evolution. My doctor is happy with my results and this is giving me hope. I sincerely tell you, I do not want to just be a survivor because I know I can be a champion. After this challenging period, I can say I am ready for the journey back to joy. Thank you for watching. See you next time.